In today's video, I wanted to share with you a luxury haul and it's a beauty edition. I know I don't tend to do these kinds of videos. Let's start with some of the things I'm already wearing. I think that's probably the easiest. The new Hermes eye palette and I have it right here on my eyes today. This is me trying on for the very first time today. So this is my first try. I kind of went a little bit ham with the black color so I you know since I already committed to it I just went with it a very neutral palette uh, and great for smoking it out for a good night out and so yeah I got number five Ombre Fumé I am not equipped to like do a tutorial or anything like that but I'm happy to do it if you guys are really really interested it comes with a little brush already which is super cute I haven't used it but it's good to have this one is the base color this is the liner color the accent color the silver this one right here is supposed to be the surprise color which um, I have to agree with some other beauty youtubers who said that this one is more the surprise color because I have to say after I applied this last using my ring finger once you put the silver over top it just changes the black into this kind of like silvery blue almost and it's so pretty so I almost feel like even though if you are a novice I may be like a slightly better than beginner because I have been getting used to my eye shape now but I feel like even if you are a novice you can still use this because once you apply that silver color it just blends everything together and it's so pretty and how buttery the shades are especially that silver color it's so buttery like it's so buttery I, I have I was so surprised uh, that I just completely fell in love with the formula so I'm probably gonna pick up more colors and this is the other thing that I have on my face and I'm happy to say that the color did kind of darken a little bit and oxidize to be similar to my neck color because again I'm very fair but my complexion is more on the you know what I'm confused now I don't know if it's cool or warm or neutral I don't know anymore because I've been told I'm all three but <laughs> so maybe I'm a neutral I ended up buying it during the whole makeup event which is where I got this I'm very wary of skincare it's usually I, I just use very clean products and I like you'll see I'm gonna share the rest of my haul here but I like that this one not only smelled really really pleasant almost baby powder sunscreen type of smell which definitely did not bother me because I'm kind of allergic to strong fragrances like anything else will make me very nauseous um, but this I also like the packaging because a lot of people complain about how the packaging is too simple and not luxurious enough but you know what at the end of the day you want your product to perform and yes it's a luxury product because it is from Hermes but at the same time you want it to be kind of more on the performing side and also hygienic side so I like this kind of squeezy too because I literally just squeeze three dots on my face and I just blend and so it will always stay really really clean on the bottle no mess right there I love that about it and it first applied with somewhat of a white cast I will say I was matched with the color 20 sabre which translates to sand in French. This has SPF by the way, and it's a physical SPF, which I definitely prefer, um, but it did oxidize somewhat. I applied it, I put my concealer, and then I had to go and cook dinner. So I actually came back to get more ready to film this video. And um, after I you know, cooked and came back, it definitely matched my neck a little bit better, even though it was not a perfect match, because I am more of a, I don't know, I'm more of a, I'm more of like an olive light skin tone, which is very, very strange, but it does match my hands more than my neck, I think, which is good. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct. Not only is it a perfect match with my skin, so without anything, just literally without even any sunscreen or whatever, anything, it matches my skin perfectly. And I literally only use it on my brown spots. Once I correct these, my skin looks so much more even and I only use one like one swipe 
and I love the doe foot applicator. It has just the right amount of product to cover both my cheeks in my problem areas and any of like the little blemishes I might have. This is the old formula by the way but I heard that the new formula is even more high coverage. So if this old formula is already good enough, like for me, I'm happy with the coverage. I can't imagine the, the new formula being even better. So I have it in the shade 1W. I was matched with this shade, so I trust whoever matches me because they always get it right. Definitely all of these products were somewhat influenced by me watching YouTube. Um, all the beauty youtubers that I started watching. So this is the Chanel fall winter blush and it came with this little brush which I was obsessed at first that's the whole reason why I wanted to get this blush but I actually don't really end up using this brush much but it's nice it's cute it's more floral so it actually dissipates and it's quite nice but as you can see it's a very very dark color this color blush is so pigmented and because of my fair skin you really have to go not only light-handed, but the placement has to be different. So I actually am using this more as sort of like a contour blush. So I, I apply it most right here. So concentrate it right here and then kind of sheer it out to the front, if that makes any sense. So it kind of becomes more of my contour. See how it's darkest right here? And a really really beautiful contour color, contour blush. And I used to do my blush this way with the Tarte, um, I forgot, but anyway, this color ends up being uh, one of my favorite products that I'm using as more of like a winter color contour instead of actually contouring my face. Okay, so this is not new at all, but I do have it on my face because I have raved about this blush so much because I like that it has a bit of that um, sheen. So I almost use it well, in con I, I do use it in conjunction with the Chanel blush, um, but more on the top part of my cheeks. So it acts almost as part blush and part um, highlight, even though I don't really highlight. But I, I love this color so much. It's so neutral. It's so easy to pull off, especially on my no makeup days. And this one is in number 35, Rose Dorée. So... I love this one so, so much. Definitely will repurchase this. Another fall Chanel makeup item that you guys have probably seen me wear so many times, but I haven't really talked about. I might have shown it in one of the videos, but this is my eye palette that I've been using nonstop. And it's also part of their fall collection or maybe their holiday fall collection. And it's just so pretty. I said earlier that if you are a newbie that you could still use the Hermes palette. Well, if you are a complete newbie, go for Chanel palettes first because you cannot go wrong with Chanel palettes. All the colors are so soft, even though this one looks dark, this one brown here, it's really not. It is darker, but overall they blend like magic and you will not look crazy especially with this color story which is more on the pink side and then it has this gorgeous gorgeous kind of white silvery top um top color this is more of a top color the Hermes one can be such a strong but in itself color type of metallic color this one is really more of a topper and they anyway if you are a newbie and you want to splurge on something luxury but you're scared that you're not going to know how to use the chanel palettes will make it easy for you especially their quads are just so intuitive and you really like you blend 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 and it just makes it look okay so this one is les quatre ombres bizance 328 parure cristal okay up next we have so many so many brushes that i bought and these were definitely influenced by youtube because i don't ever buy so many makeup and beauty products and it's from this brand refer <laughs> which i know a lot of beauty youtubers get they get sent the products to promote i did buy it myself but you know what i have become a fan and like i said i have been much better at doing my makeup and much more comfortable and confident and also enjoying the process. Anyway, I bought 
so many things from them because I just kept ordering and ordering and ordering. I think this is a total of four orders. I got their eyelash curler because I have two eyelash curlers that I got from Asia a long time ago. They are made in Japan, but I need to find the refills for the pads and I can't find them anywhere because I bought them in Asia and I can't find them here. So I decided that I'm going to buy their eyelash curler because I can't, I don't really have a functioning one. And I like it. This one is their original one, which is the 20R. I like it. I think it works. I will say for me, my eyes are, they're round, but they're definitely, see how they're not as long as this eyelash curler. It's not the perfect fit, but it still works pretty well. It, it does catch most of my hair starting from like here to here because the ones here, they're, they're just so thin. Um, and also I will say I like how flat profile this one is because I did look at their picture, their newer curvature, the 18R is too deep and my face is definitely not as deep. As you can see, I have pretty much like the <laughs> typical flat Asian face. So I knew that this curvature being a little more flat is probably best for me. And also, even though my eyes are not quite as long as this curler, it does grab onto most of my hair and it does curl them quite well. So I am happy with it. Um, I will say it's not perfect for my eye shape, but that's really dependent on your eye shape, right? But I think it's a good curler to get if you want to experiment with a Japanese made curler. And if you have issues finding the right one, you can try something like this, especially if you have a flatter face. Brushes. Oh goodness. Let's start with the two most expensive ones that I got. So these two brushes, they came with two of these boxes. They are supposed to be Sabi Koho goat hair, which is supposed to be the softest goat hair out there, which I will say they have become my favorite. Let's talk about this one first because I've been using this one. So this was their first one that they released. As you can see, it fits right here. I will say I haven't always bought the best brushes. And so when I got this one, I was really, really happy at how soft it is. That's how I found out about this second release because I was already one of their clients. So you kind of get their newsletter. So this one is their second version. So it also has the beautiful, I think they call it Fude um, design, hand painted. Uh, this one brush is a little bit different. This is the second version. So compared to the first version, the ferrule is slightly more pinched than this. Uh, and also the hairs are the same on both sides of the brush. Whereas this one, one side is kind of more kind of tapered. So I guess you can have more of a pointy side here and then more of a sprayed out side here, which I think like, I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for, but I could be using this as a, hmm, I'm not sure as a powder brush. Not sure yet. I just bought it because I've been such a fan of their first one. I'm not sure if I'll like this one as much, but we'll see. These were 88 US dollars. And that is my only gripe is it's not that their prices are high or anything because I do find that uh, their concept store, the prices of their brushes are quite well priced. Um, it's just that for Canadians, because the Canadian to US currency is so high that um, it brings these brushes to quite an expensive price range. And also the shipping is quite slow to Canada. But aside from that, I think I'm, I've become a fan of their brushes because why I brought so many. Let me just try to show you. That's a lot because I... I have a lot of brushes from the past as well, but I'm one to not not really spend so much money on beauty because that's where I have the most control, but I seem to have lost it now. But anyway, let's go over why I got some of these brushes. The first order that I made was for the holiday brush, but also because they have launched the mini version of their brushes. So I thought it was an opportunity for me to get some smaller brushes to fit my eyes because it's not that I have the smallest eyes, but I do have monolids, which is hard to do detail work if your brushes are so big because 
it just gets lost once you open your eyes. Um, if you have mono lids, you will know exactly what I mean. So the first set of brushes that I bought was for the mini set. Brush number one, the mini, it's quite comparable to this brush that I have right here, the Sonia G Worker Pro, which it's not the exact same thing, but it's somewhat resembles it. I like using these just to put my first wash of color, which is what I did here. I use this to put the first wash of color. I like number two for shimmers or the metallic color on the corner of my eye and right here on the front of my lower lid because it's quite small. I don't really use it as a shader or anything. So I just use number two for that because it's quite firm and small. 13 is a little bit of a stubby, really small blender brush to do the thick liner that I was talking about. It's really not a liner brush, but because how my my eye shape is, everything just gets lost once I open my eyes. Because of its tiny, tiny little size, it works for my eye shape. I think it's just because I have monolids, which is why it turns out to be great. And this one, number 14, which is a little bit longer and um, kind of softer, like it's not as compact as number 13, as you can see. I like doing the outer V corner with the slightly darker neutral color with this one and also kind of just fan out a little bit of the kind of like the cut crease even though it's not really a cut crease but you guys know what I mean and then number 15 which is the biggest blender brush but for me it's just nice to go around um, the the base color but also kind of blend everything around the edges so I like this one a lot for that now why did I go back and buy more of their other eye brushes well just because I was curious and I felt like there was a gap in my collection of brushes my existing one, the regular number 15, because this one is just the regular size blending brush, um, but it's just a little bit bigger. So I think this would be good to just keep clean, to just clean up any sort of messy work. The 15 mini versus the 15, that's the size difference. It's not a huge difference, but there is a bit of a difference for sure. Let's talk about these two pencil brushes, which um, have become favorites for sure. So this is their number three. So it's their, not their tiniest one, but one of their smaller pencil brush, which is perfect for doing the eyeliner thing that I'm talking about. Even though it's quite thick, but on my eyes, it will just about show up with this size brush. So this is a good one to use when I don't wear the big lashes. It will be a good shadow eyeliner brush for me. This tiny little one is great for the lower lash because it's smaller and it can concentrate and pack on that black. Number 12, also because this is a very unusual kind of brush that I don't have. Even they advertise it as a liner buffing brush. So I use that to kind of buff it out at least the line to make it not as obvious. 36, this one I still haven't used it, but a lot of people have said that it's a good eye concealer brush. Also by adding all of these different brushes that I didn't really have, especially the mini size, which I don't really have from other brands, it really kind of completed the set of brushes that I have. Okay, let's finish off with some skincare. Skincare is an area that I treat it very, very seriously and I go super, super clean because skincare is the first thing that you put on your face after you wash it and it pretty much gets absorbed by your body. Purchases that I have researched and tried and so they're not really influenced by YouTube and it's not bad to be influenced by YouTube because they're still great, great purchases that I made. But these are definitely things that I hold very near and dear to my heart and I treat it very, very seriously. So one skincare brand that I absolutely have been using for a while now and have, you know, really converted to liking most of their products. I, I'm comfortable to buy almost any products that they have. Great ingredients, a great company, and they're Canadian and local as well. So I'm always happy to support. This one is literally like my favorite product that I discovered and started loving the brand and started using everything else from this brand. So it comes in a jar like this. So this is my used one. They use, even all their packaging is glass and bamboo. They also have two other moisturizers that are slightly less 
pricey but also really really good and I own it too it's called the Amaze cream they market the collagen cream for like mature skin and the Amaze cream for any age I use both because I use the collagen cream for nighttime and I use the Amaze cream for daytime I also like their facial toner I only use it to spray my face to give it extra moisture I don't actually use a pad to go over it's more just to give extra moisture before my actual cream in terms of their cleanser I started using their bio foaming cleanser it has potato enzymes apple cider vinegar and it's quite gentle I will say so it's not one of those that really strips your skin but it's also not greasy like the milk cleansers I like something in between so this is good as your daily cleanser ultra favorite of mine is their hand cream this one is so good and it even has a little bit of zinc oxide so it pro I think it provides a little bit of sun protection even though don't use it as your sunscreen obviously but this uh, hand cream is really really nice I definitely recommend it bio brightening C serum oily consistency so I use one pump of this and then I mix it with another pump of their toner and I mix it in my hands and I pat it on my face and I really like it because this with the Amaze cream is a really good combination to give extra moisture if you don't buy the collagen cream because the collagen cream is definitely more hydrating in my opinion but if you don't go with the collagen cream and just the Amaze cream you can use a combination of their C serum and the Amaze cream and it works wonders I almost forgot about this one which is their exfoliating gel this one is really really different from anything that I have come across on any company it's really really interesting how this is an exfoliator it doesn't have any harsh like beads or anything like that nothing like that it's literally a gel and it smells amazing it smells like a citrus farm like it's so beautiful the scent and it's slightly almost herbal which i love i love anything herbal citrus you have to use it on dry skin grab a bit here on my forehead a little bit around my nose or on my nose and a little bit on my chin because those are the areas that typically i need to exfoliate more because that's the t-zone and you just massage it the gel would kind of almost like melt in your skin and then it eventually it'll kind of ball up but those balls are not hard they're just like apparently those are like your dead skin I don't know what it is but once you rinse off your face it will be baby soft now will it work right off the bat if your skin is really really congested probably not but over time as you improve your skin actually with this one it's so gentle you can probably use it every day I think the only thing that I don't enjoy that I've tried is their eye cream because I find their eye cream to be too light and not hydrating enough for my dry skin so that's the only product that I have only purchased once and never got it again but everything else I've tried I've always repurchased so I only have a couple more <sighs> it's so good if you're using La Mer or like I don't know like the super expensive lip balms and whatever I'm sure those are great but they cost an arm and a leg and I'm sure still I wouldn't like it as much as this one because again I'm very very strict when it comes to ingredients and how clean they are because these are like the first things that I put on my skin and I don't wash it off right I want them to actually nourish my skin and I go to sleep and everything so it's not like makeup where I'm gonna be a little bit more lenient with the ingredients even though I'm still quite picky but um, yeah Yvonne Healy the wild carrot immortel eye balm it is essentially a balm for your eyes but it's just as good for your lips it's also good for your neck or any parts of your body that is prone to dryness it says here gently apply around your eyes upper cheekbones and brow which I'm sure you can do I actually don't like it on my eyes it's more of like a lip balm consistency it has more of a waxy oily consistency so I love it as my lip balm and goodness 
because it's such a big balm, 14 grams. Any lip balms are usually like 4 grams, 7 grams, at most 10 grams, because they do have a lip balm that is 10 grams. I like that one too, but this one is even better. Their eye balm is even better as a lip balm. And you can travel with it on the plane. If your eyes or any patch of your skin on your hands, I have a little dry patch right here right now. Put this on. The other product that I really enjoy from Yvonne Healy is their body oil. So I chose the Sweet Blossom Body Oil. It has a slight citrus and slight... Um, woody smell. I don't use it straight up actually. I grab a regular lotion but I use this one which is also Canadian. I have very dry skin. I always have to moisturize with a little bit more than just regular lotion so I add a few pumps of the Yvonne Healy body oil and it solves my dry skin problem. So these are um, almost like my ride or die. So yeah, I've been restocking on a lot of skincare and I've been buying a lot more makeup. A lot for me because I don't buy a lot. Let me know if you guys are recommending anything else that I should try that I can experiment because I've been feeling adventurous lately. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your holiday season. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!